Enabling Office 365 Services Exam Reference 70-347 Objective 4.4 Manage a Sky for Business Global External Communication Settings this objective deals with managing tenancy level settings for a Sky for Business. These settings uh, allow you to manage at the tenancy level which external users Sky for Business clients are able to communicate with, including whether communication is allowed with the consumer version of a Skype. This objective covers the following topics. Manage external communications and domains manage Skype consumer connectivity, customize meeting invitations, and disable push notifications. Manage external communications and domains. You can control access to a Skype for business users in other organizations in two ways. One, you block a specific domains but allow access to everyone else or two allow a specific domains but block access to everyone else you can also use a set of a sky for business online a specific windows powershell commandlet to manage external communication settings uh, this command are uh, as follows uh, new dash CS edge allow all do known domains. Uh, this command will allow Sky for Business online users to communicate with any domain except those on the block list. New dash CS edge allow list. You can use this command to configure the domains with which Sky for Business online users can communicate. This command must be used in conjunction with the uh, new dash CS domain pattern and the set dash CS tenant federation configuration commandlets. New dash CS edge domain pattern. You can use this commandlet to modify the list of allowed or blocked domains, uh, as the string values cannot be passed directly to the commandlets uh, used to manage the list. And and finally, get dash CS tenant federation configuration. Uh, it is used to view information about the allowed domains and the blocked domains. Managed allowed domain list. Uh, the following Windows PowerShell code shown on the screen uh, allows users to only communicate with users in the uh, tailspintoys.com and uh, wingtiptoys.com domains. Here's another uh, set of commands that you can use to uh, configure Sky for Business using PowerShell. Uh, for example, to remove a domain from the allow list, you need to use a set of commands. Uh, first, you need to uh, replace the current list of allow domains in a variable, as uh, shown on the screen. Uh, then you need to determine the number of uh, the domain that you want to remove. Uh, you do this by use, uh, issuing the variable as a command and then counting the number of lines until the domain that you want to remove uh, with the first line as zero. Uh, for example, if you had the following list output, uh, then you use, uh, issue the, um, uh, the variable command that's uh, shown on the screen. You can repeat the process to remove all the domains from the list. Uh, once you've uh, pruned all of the domains that you want to remove, then you can assign the list using the uh, command shown on the screen. Uh, managing block domain list. Uh, to add a domain to the block list using PowerShell, uh, use the block domains parameter. Uh, for example, to add uh, margistravel.com to the list of block domains, you issue the uh, command shown on the screen. And you can also use the get-ds uh, 
uh, CS10 and Federation configuration commandlet to view the list of black uh, domains by issuing the command shown on the screen. Managing a Skype consumer connectivity. You can use the turn on communication with the Skype users and users of other public IN service providers option. Uh, which is found in the external communications area of the uh, Skype for Business Admin Center uh, as shown, uh, shown on this uh, screenshot. You can set the set-cs tenant configura configuration uh, uh, federation configuration commandlet to also disable and enable public IM connectivity uh, as shown in the um, in the following following commands. Um, once you have enabled public IM connectivity you can also uh, allow or block a specific providers. Uh, you do this with the set-cs tenant public provider commandlet uh, and when you use this commandlet, you must specify the tenant identifier, which you can determine using the um, uh, command shown on the screen, which is basically the uh, get CS tenant, and then you pipe that to the uh, tenant ID. You can customize the Sky for Business meeting invitations uh, to meet your organization's needs. Uh, for example, you can add your own logo, uh, you can replace the default URL for a Sky for Business uh, meeting support with the URL of your own organization support website if you have one. Uh, and you can also add legal disclaimers by providing the link to the uh, uh, to a website with this information or by including the uh, text directly in the uh, meeting invitation. Disable push notifications. You can turn on alerts for incoming instant messages or IMs, uh, voicemail messages and missed IMs or missed calls for Sky for Business mobile users by using a push notification service instead of the Microsoft Office 365 uh, to send those alerts. Uh, depending on your supported mobile devices, you can use the uh, Microsoft push notification service, the Apple push notification service, or both. If you prefer to use PowerShell, then you can use the set dash CS push notification configuration commandlet to enable or disable the push notification servers uh, as shown on the screenshot here. Objective summary. Use the new dash CS edge allow all known domains command led to allow a Sky for Business online users to communicate with any domain except those on the blocked list. Use the new dash CS edge allow list command led to configure the domains with which Sky for Business online users can communicate. This commandlet must be used in conjunction with the new dash CS edge domain pattern and set dash CS tenant federation configuration commandlets. Use the new dash CS edge domain pattern to modify the list of allowed or blocked domains. Use the get dash CS tenant federation configuration to view information about the allowed domains and the blocked domains. You can use the set dash CS tenant federation configuration commandlet to allow to also disable and enable public IM connectivity. 
you can customize meeting invitations including a logo help URL legal URL and meeting footer text a sky for business push notification allow alerts about incoming and missed instant messages to be displayed whenever the user is not actively using the sky for business on their phone or tablet you can disable push notifications for the Microsoft and Apple push notification service through the Sky for Business Admin Center or by using the set-cs push notification configuration commandlet. Objective review questions. Question 1. Which of the following Windows PowerShell commandlets do you use to allow a Sky for Business online users to communicate with any domain except those on the black list? New dash CS Edge allow all known domains. Question two. Which of the following Windows PowerShell commandlets do you use to view information about currently allowed or blocked domains across the tenancy for a Skype for Business Online? Correct answer is D. Get dash CS tenant federation configuration. And three, which of the following Windows uh, PowerShell commandlet do you use to enable and disable public IM connectivity across the tenancy in a Skype for Business Online? The answer is B, set dash CS tenant federation configuration. Question four, which of the following Windows PowerShell command list would you use to disable the Apple push notification service for a Skype for Business Online? And the answer is D. Set dash CS push notification configuration. Question 5. Which of the following Windows PowerShell command list is used in the process of modifying the list of allowed or blocked domains for a Sky for Business Online? Choose all that apply. Answers are A. New dash CS edge domain pattern. And D. Set dash CS tenant federation configuration.